Mickey, this has been an incredible interview. I just wanted to, usually to end it off, we do a speed round of questions. It takes maybe one minute. Any other decade to be your current age in right now, what would it be? I'm happy where I'm at. You're happy where you're at. Switch. Maybe, I, I, because I start playing early, I, I, I start playing drums in the 60s, yeah. You know? No, it's ridiculous when I think about it. But okay, I, I I could maybe have. I would like to have been a little bit older in the earlier seventies. I was, you know, I, I went to, out of school nineteen seventy nine, so I was uh, fifteen, sixteen then. I, I could, I would like to have been a part of maybe the music scene from 73 74 and up maybe you know a little yeah. bit more that's really that's cool that's the only thing but but i'm very happy where i where where i've been because as i said again these particular bands has has come in the right order for me and mm -hmm. uh, i played throughout the 70s as well but it could have been cool to to be in maybe playing mid mid 70s on the biggest stages. That would have been, yeah. I mean, the Zeppelin sort of days, yeah, I, I can imagine. For myself, that's so far removed from my reality so that, that I would probably put myself in well, the same. Know, I'm great Rush fan, Thin Lizzy, Deep Purple, you know, yeah. uh, and, and uh, you know, when uh, All the World at Stage came out, you know, with Rush and, you know, just playing a little bit more on the biggest scenes in the 70s. That's the only thing. Mm-hmm. Very good. I love that. You can switch ability with any entertainer, drummer, otherwise. Who would you like to switch performance ability with for a day? Oh, that's, oh, gosh, that's so hard. Uh, maybe Wayne Gretzky for a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wayne Gretzky, <laughs> the great one. <laughs> well, one Peter moment. Peter Forsberg or someone. Who? Peter Forsberg. Peter Forsberg. My friend. Yeah. Okay. One moment that you felt starstruck in your life. Oof, there's been many, 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 many hundreds of times, of course, when you meet people that you respect. And uh, it's not an easy answer. Uh, I don't get starstruck. That's kind of a wrong word. But you you respectfully meet people with, uh, and, uh, you know, different people that uh, for instance uh sitting talking to the only swedish astronaut Krista fuglesang you know mm. was um, it's amazing to hear his story he was so long up at the space station you know just yeah just out of the blue some, something like that and i have so many good friends in the within uh within sports that is so fascinating to hear how how hard headed they've been in mm. their sports to to become what they are today or or were you know how yeah. they became a good olympian or or hockey player or or whatever sports they they done swimmer or that's fascinating to me and and people in the in the business industry you know how come mm -hmm. a certain person seemed to make all the right decisions all the time yeah uh, the Elon so, Musk types or the Jeff Bezos types, you know, people. Uh, that's fascinating to me. How mm -hmm. how do how do they think? How can they how can they slow down to make sure that they make right decisions? Mm. Ninety nine times out of a hundred, and and when you talk to these people, they they still say that they make mistakes, but at least they learn from it, and and that's where. So I get a little starstruck or if you will, respectfully meeting people out there mm. with that ability to have such a great control over uh, themselves, basically, you know, and uh, yeah. and at the same time, live life and, and enjoy the, the, the good life, you know? Mm -hmm. What's the biggest misconception about Sweden? That everyone is like Pippi Longstocking, I think, or e <laughs> eating meatballs. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fair enough. And finally, 
deliver one message to your younger self. Let's say you just walked into the, into the room. Is there anything that you would tell your younger self? Good job, Mickey D. Hmm. Pat on the back. Yes, because uh, I obviously done something right that I, at age I am, I'm not old, but I mean, again, I'm playing with two, fant three fantastic guys that I'm just looking down on stage, see Rudolf, Matthias, and, and Klaus running yeah. around like fucking nutheads down there. <laughs> I, I'm a baby, you know? So, but still, that that I made the right choices. And when mm. it comes to drugs, for instance, or sacrificing the right things yeah. for a good reason, you know? And so I tell myself, great job mickey d because yeah. the only luck that i see me having is the health part of it 100 mm -hmm. percent. people tell me oh man you've been so lucky i said what do you mean lucky I, I i created pretty much everything for myself the luck i had is that i've been blessed or whatever with with being healthy yeah you know? something to, to be so been, proud of Yes, I've been able to play drums. I didn't lose my two arms. I, 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 I've been, uh, you know, been able to play and and do my sports and and play drums and and my health been been fantastic. Knock knock on wood, mm -hmm. since birth. And that's luck. That's not much yeah. you can do about. And the rest, I think, I I I've been a big part of creating my myself I've, I've been opening and closing the doors myself mm -hmm. and, and that's what that's where i want to pat myself on the back and say hey mickey good job you know you yeah. you, you did uh, make the right choices here and and that's what i like to say to a lot of younger kids in general that it takes something to get something you know and uh, yeah it's not it's not something you just get you have to you have to want it and you have to go for it and you have to sacrifice a lot for it, you know, and, and, uh, and today's day and age, I don't say that they don't believe in that, but a lot of people actually don't believe in that. Yeah. They think sadly. They can just slip in on a banana shell and, and, <laughs> and be lucky, you know, and, and here we go. Um, but they have a great advantage today with, YouTube and internet and the way the technique is today. So use the tool right, and you're going to be fantastic, you know? Yeah. If you use it the wrong way, it's going to be a disaster. <laughs>